Can you introduce me to a, a great whiskey? I'd really like to know a little bit more about Irish whiskey. What do you think the bartender's going to start with? Irish whiskeys, as I'm sure you're probably aware, were was the number one whiskey in the world and, until Prohibition struck. Uh, and when Prohibition struck, you know, around the same time, we got independence. And when we got independence, we lost the Commonwealth market, which meant that we had hundreds of distilleries producing whiskey and no market to sell it to except the local market. So within a sort of 10, 12-year period, we went down to six or seven distilleries from hundreds of distilleries. Uh, if you look at uh, photographs of uh, Yankee games and these kind of things, from ball games from prior to the Prohibition era, you'll see Jameson written on the billboards uh, and Irish written just the way Scotch is written now. Um, so uh, we, we, have, uh, we have all the tradition, the history. Bushmills is actually the oldest operating distillery uh, in the world, uh, so we have all this tradition and age, um, but we can't command the prices that Scottish do because when prohibitions turned off, the Scots said we're continuing to make whiskey and had the reserves to, to take over the market that we had been uh, sort of that had been vacated uh, when when we uh, when prohibition happened. The long and short of that is that they can charge high prices. But we can't charge the price that they can. So if you're looking for value to start off into, Irish whiskey is a great way to start. And if somebody's in the realm of uh, wanting to spend thirty dollars or twenty five dollars, say for something like that, I would steer them towards uh, pure pot still, uh, which is basically the Irish equivalent of a single malt. Um, most Irish whiskies are blended, but we do have a, a, a an age that has been resurrected recently. In the last 10, 12 years, uh, there were always some pure pot stills, but there, it's becoming a, a much greater thing now. And Redbreast is uh, one of those uh, pure pot stills. And if I was to push you into the sort of Redbreast 15-year-old or even the 12-year-old is great. There's a 12-year-old cask strength um, that you, you'd be in the sort of uh, 18 to $25 range. And it's an exceptional product with exceptional age and history uh, and the price is fantastic um, it's got uh, it's triple distilled of course as well all Irish whiskies are triple distilled even the finest Scottish whiskies are distilled only twice uh, and the difference of that is that if you distill it more and more it takes some of the impurities and the harshness out uh, which gives you the smoother Irish product um, but others would say critics of that would say you're taking some of the characteristics out some of the notes that uh, the, the, the harshness uh, that when you leave it in gives you other notes to, to fixate on. But uh, it's a smooth product that's got apricot and peach notes. Uh, some people say it's almost like a brandy. Um, and that would be the direction that we probably would, would, would steer you down as uh, somebody who had a little bit of knowledge, but not a lot of knowledge, had a little bit of money to spend, not a lot of money to spend, and basically was just uh, putting a toe in the water. 